for the designing of confined protein with detail i will show in this in this video file new model here is the uh, design course uh, design preferences project information unit system here i will select metric default okay and then i will select the plan then i will draw a grid for combined footing i need only two grids so that's why i'll just make two grids first of all one two and the spacing will be for example two meter that is a combined footing so that will be uh, near distance and here will be zero so you can see uh, in the x direction data is appeared for the y direction i will click a click b and the spacing in the y you can put any value because we will design a with respect to x and here will be zero okay and that the study height above means datum level is zero and above zero and below height is 0 0.14 per meter and for the combined footing we do not need this height i will click ok and ok so it will automatically generate the grid system i have moved and zoomed the grid system here you can see the x distance is zero and the x distance next is the two meter so first of all i will define this slab material property and new material property because I, I want to take in this example the material and defined by the software so here is a work concrete that will be 30 megapascal and the modify and the steel grade is 400 megapascal okay in this example i am taking as a default slab properties and new property for example for combined footing i am taking as a 140 millimeter concrete material will be 30 megapascal in here that will be 450 millimeter and it is a footing okay and now i will draw a one more add a copy of this and that will be skip column uh, that material property is the same and here i will skip skip and its thickness will be also 450 millimeter okay okay now i will draw the points for the drawing of the footing gear system so here i will draw first of all points minus 0.5 okay Here is the first Here is the second Fourth I mean third And now fourth Here I have drawn the points Where I will draw the, the Combined footing here I will select the rectangular footing and click slab 450 millimeter that is a footing thickness I will click starting point and end point that is the combined footing now I will uh, click draw around point here I will click skip column that will be for uh, I want to draw 300 millimeter column by 300 millimeter its thickness is same as that of footing so that's why i have put the thickness of the stiff column uh, 450 millimeter to match the thickness of the uh, footing flap now i will draw, click here and click here okay now i will again draw more point at the center zero zero why to draw the points so in this example i will take the soil subgrade modulus also as a default assign soil properties apply or uh, it's not difficult you can easily define define soil subgrade modulus modify 
and here it is a 2000 kN per meter. In this example, I will take the allowable bearing pressure 100 equal to 100 kPa divided by 25 millimeter allowable deformation 1000. Okay, so here so correct calculated is 4000 compression only. Okay, okay, I will click at the uh, center area of the footing assign for data soil properties. Okay, now I will assign the load. First of all, I will click the point where I want to apply the load. That's the load which will come from the above structure. Assign load data point load. Here I will apply live load and in the uh, Z direction that will be for example 200 kN M max maybe 50 M Y maybe uh, you can say it's about maybe 30 kN meter and the load size it will be column size so our column size is 300 millimeter 300 millimeter if we do not put software will not calculate the punching shear it is must requirement okay now i will go in the define and load pattern is by default uh, uh, for this example it will be okay define load combination a uh, default design combination i will click on to strength and service normal okay for service normal here first combination is one dead second will be one dead one live okay and that's the ultimation ultimate combination okay so now i will run uh, before running i will draw strips add design strip uh, i can also draw by default or i can draw manually so in this example i will draw manually and uh, draw design grid okay the thickness uh, the width will be column strip here I will click the starting point that will be X reduction grid and it may be A. Now I will click B and uh, its reduction will be okay. Okay, now I will make a middle strip if your snaps do not appear, snap option do not appear, just right click snap option you can select the here the points grid intersection intelligent snap so after clicking this your snapping option will also start appearing now i will start the uh, save the model and run the analysis and design desktop yes and save the size combined footing Okay, now I will run analysis and design. Okay, now which is the default deform for dead load. Now I will see display show deform shape against the uh, bigger service load combination apply. So maximum deformation is minus 86 millimeter. It means the deformation is exceeding the 25 millimeter so we have to increase the thickness and uh, uh, second we have to make the more broader area so due to movements it's one side is uh, settling more and let's see also the what is the soil bearing pressure uh, show reactions soil pressure Change the service normal apply okay you can see the pressure is also exceeding our allowable is 100 kpa but that's exceeding 344 kN newton per meter square okay uh, let's also check what is the punching shear our punching shear is okay but we have to satisfy the allowable settlement and bearing pressure for that i have unlocked the model now I will uh, there are different ways of added the geometry you can do uh, you can further see the added geometry video so I will also show here how I will edit the 
Uh, first of all, I will draw draw points. Now I will put 1.5 meter. 1.5 meter offset in the center. You can see that's the much bigger uh, point. So no, I will take at this. First of all, I will increase one meter. One meter. Okay, now it's much much better. Here downward. Minus third point. Okay. Now I will just click modify and click the slab and one by one. First point, second point, third point, fourth point. Your boundary conditions already assigned, all the things. So and, and the second thing is the footing thickness I will also increase and define slab properties modify I am increasing it to 800 millimeter 800 millimeter and the six column thickness is also 800 millimeter okay okay now we'll again run analysis and design display show deform shape against service normal apply okay now you can see the deformation is minus 26 millimeter which is nearly to allowable settlement 26 millimeter so let's check again the display show deform shape or uh, show show reactions apply okay so what's the bidding allowable bidding pressure now it's the 107 kilonewton per meter square so just i will increase the little more more thickness and now define slab properties i am increasing it to for example 900 millimeter 900 millimeter Now I will again run analysis and design and display show deform shape against second combination that is a bigger one. So now the allowable settlement is still uh, minus 26.27.53 that is because uh, the soil uh, the footing fade is also increased. So for further we have to increase the footing area for that. I am clicking on lock okay now again I will draw point first of all I have did the offset of 1 meter 1 meter now I will do 1.3 or 1.2 for example in this I am taking 1.3 okay the first point offset is here then minus is here minus third one is there fourth one okay now reshape click the mm, combined footing here here Further, uh, you have to also edit the design shapes. So, scale, reshape, click. Now, make it to end from this side. Also. Okay, for the middle strip here. If this go beyond the footing, it will not matter. Now I will again run analysis and design then display 
show deform shape again that is normal apply okay now you can see this is uh, below the allowable settlement means 25 millimeter so our settlement check is okay now i will go show reactions soil pressure against normal apply that will again less than 100 kpa so it means our footing design is now okay now the third check show punching shear design that is also okay now i will check the show strip forces and what are the moments against the ultimate apply so here is the moment value in the layer a similarly you can also see in the layer b what are the moments and third what are the shear forces apply so that's how you can see all the forces now i will go uh, run and display show slab design layer a and b strip base apply so that's the reinforcement requirement for example in layer a that's how you can see at top no reinforcement and bottom is requirement similarly in this direction so now impose the minimum apply so minimum is more so minimum will justify uh, the satisfaction apply so here you can also put the reinforcement what spacing will be enough for example 200 by 200 apply so its requirement is more so we have to for example let's say 16 16 and do it to 120 by 120 apply now we can also optimize by reducing to to lower part and height spacing so that's how you can justify the reinforcement now there is a detailing option you can set the preferences i will just click the detailing here is a footing uh, just that that's the grid spacing so we are showing what are the dimensions you will see in the footing this that's the footing layout footing table 4.6 meter is the lx dimension l y is the 2.6 meter 0.9 meter means uh, 900 millimeter so that the reinforcement 8 number 10 bars and 8 number 10 bars that's the requirement please also uh, study in detail so that's how you can detail the combined footing so have a nice day